Why you and not me? Because you want to deliver the message. His services are no longer needed. And I want to tell him goodbye. You're really going to do this? Although we've had our differences over the years, there are no two people I respect more. Your names are on the wall for a reason, and mine is not for a reason. And I refuse to put either one of you through the pain of having to fire me. So effective immediately, I, Louis Litt, am resigning from Pearson Spectre. Please take care of my home. You bring him his box of stuff yet? No, but I'm going to right now. Let me do it. Listen to me. Harvey's pissed at you because you don't have anything, and Lewis needs me. Donna, I am here because that man put my well-being before his own. He gave up going after Sheila for me. For all I know, that's why it didn't work out for him up there. It's the least I can do is comfort him when he's down. Go. You know, there's got to be a story behind this key. Yeah, it's from one of your first cases, or... Mike, do me a favor, please. Just stop it, will you? Stop what? Stop asking questions and you already know the answers to just to stay here longer. Lewis, I'm not. You're not what, examining me? Yes, you are. You're just making small talk while you look around the room to see if there are any sharp objects in the vicinity. That is not why I came here. Well, it wasn't to deliver a box of my shit. Look, when I was drowning, you threw me a lifeline, okay? Yeah, okay, I mean... well, that's nice of you to say, and I appreciate you bringing over my things, but they're not exactly a lifeline. I heard about Boston. What'd you hear? That Harvey got you a job and you didn't even show up? Well, why would I, when the love of my life rips out my heart and then stomps on it? Lewis, I'm just trying to help. Well, you can't. I'll meet with him. If there's no guarantee. Well, that's all I can ask. You tell my daughter to give her old man a call sometime. Yes, sir. What? It's really sweet. But let's just say there's a reason that I didn't go to my dad to pay for law school. I thought you said it was because you wanted to do it yourself. It is, but other people don't have a problem going to their parents because they don't have to wait for the other shoe to drop. What are you talking about? He's not going to give something for nothing. This isn't about business. This is about balls. I don't need another grinder. I need a lawyer who can kick a door in. And the door in question is Pierce Inspectors. You want to see if... I can break my partnership agreement. You're damn right I do. Because if you can't do that, then what the hell good are you? I told you, you're too late. To tell them an unemployed clown just sold them a pile of bullshit? You mean the bullshit that you have to drop them as a client? The Pfizer merger. FTC rule 10b6. They were not pleased that you kept them in the dark. You are a son of a bitch. Who's the clown now? You're a son of a bitch. I'm only taking one client that you're gonna have to drop anyway. The least you could do is be a gentleman about it. A gentleman? I got you two jobs. Two jobs in Siberia. What a pity. I got you those jobs out of compassion. Just like when I fought for Jessica to not fire you in the first place. But when I take VersaLife back, it's gonna be without any feeling for you at all. Well, good. <laughs> I wanted to um, thank you for setting up that meeting with Robert Zane. I just hope you understand that if I had a choice, I never would have gone after VersaLife, but I had no choice. Lewis, we took them back. What? But you had to drop them. Not anymore. We convinced them to sell their trial drug division. Of course, you drop a drain on their earnings, the stock price goes right through the roof. And their market share falls below the threshold. But who the hell would buy it? Walter Gillis. Listen, listen. Mike, uh, you won. You're a brilliant lawyer. You are a brilliant lawyer. I'm a brilliant lawyer who's never going to work again. Hey, stop. That is not true. Look, look, look at everything that you have. A Harvard Law Diploma, summa cum laude, order of the quaff. Those are the credentials of a Supreme Court justice. Yeah, and adding two bucks will give me a seat on the subway. You know what, Lewis? It's been a long day. It's Can about you... to get longer. See, Mike asked me about this. And I thought he was... <laughs> I thought he was trying to get my mind off of my problems. But then he did it again. And it got me to thinking. 
Mike graduated magna cum laude. He's in Order of the Quaff. But he didn't recognize this. So he forgot a stupid key. Mike Ross doesn't forget anything. See, the reason he didn't recognize this was because he never got one. Because he didn't go to Harvard. Lewis, we've been down this road before. Mike is in the Harvard database. But he's not in the yearbook. And according to his credit report, his address during his law school years was in New York. He even paid rent the first of the month in person. Well, I'm sure there's an... Sit down! Last year, you told me not to tell Sheila about Mike's file. You acted like you cared about me. You didn't give a shit about me. You cared about you! And Harvey! No. And Mike! No! And Jessica! Lewis, that's not true! Well, let's call Sheila right now. I know all of the numbers by heart. I mean, she may not be interested in me anymore, but she will definitely be interested in a fraud claiming that he went to Harvard. I'm sorry. You're sorry? You've been lying to me since the day Mike Ross arrived. I knew Harvey and Jessica never really accepted me, but I thought you were different. I thought you were my friend. I am your friend, Louis. No, you're not. And don't you ever say that to me again. Where are you going? To see your friend Jessica. Lewis knows. Lewis. I know you're a stickler for the rules, so I figured I'd just come by to return my ID. You want an explanation? I want to see you perp walk through the bullpen with your pretty little jacket draped over your handcuffs. But until then, yeah, I'll take an explanation. When I found out the truth about Mike Ross, it had already been done. By Harvey. Right after he made senior partner over me, that's when he hired the fraud, that's the correct timeline, right? Yes. So instead of turning him in, you cover it up. Lewis. And the one time that I do something, you don't cover it up at all. You throw me to the wolves. I saved you from the wolves. I'll ask you for the smallest gesture just to allow my career to continue with dignity, and you couldn't muster the tiniest shred of compassion. What do you want me to say? I want you to tell me you're a liar! And a hypocrite! And I want you to say you're sorry. did what I did to protect this firm. Well, it looks like the captain's about to go down with her ship. Bullshit. You want something? Oh, I told you. I want to see you in... In handcuffs? If that were true, the police would be here instead of you. No. You wanted to see me squirm before asking me for what you really want. I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. So you might as well spit it out. You asked me what I wanted once before, and I told you. And then you told me that I couldn't have it. But now I can. Pearson.